we want to look at subtracting mixed numbers where we need to borrow. So how do I know that I need to borrow? Well, if I looked at my fractions, I have a 3 here and a 4 here. And 3 is smaller than 4, so I'm going to have to borrow in order to subtract. So when you borrow, it's just like we did before. We're going to take 1 from the 1's column. So this is going to be 7. And then I'm going to have 5 over 5, because remember that's the same thing as 1, plus 3 fifths, minus, and then the bottom I've still got 2 and 4 over 5. So I did the 5 over 5 plus the 3 over 5, and that will give me 8 fifths. And then I've got the same thing down here on the bottom. So now when I subtract, I do 8 minus 4, which is 4. So there's 4 fifths, and 7 minus 2 is 5. 